have 9.3 evaluating functions, absolute value, rational, and radical. And so no matter what the function looks like, when they give us this notation, this used to be the x, and what they're asking us to find is the y, okay? So you're going to use the letter on the outside to decide which function we should be using. And I'm actually gonna change this to a g, so that way I can use all the three different functions, okay? So f means I need to use the f, the function labeled f, right? And we need to plug in five. So f of five is going to be the square root of five minus three plus one, which is the square root of two plus one. And you cannot simplify the square root of two. So this is just gonna stay exactly like that. That is the answer for f of five. For g of three, we're going to use the g function, which is this function here and we're gonna plug in three for x. So we get three squared plus three over seven plus three. In the denominator I get 10, here I get nine plus three, which is 12. And then I can reduce that to six over five. And so that would be the response for g of three. And then for h of one third, we're going to take this function, the h function, and we're gonna plug in one third for x. And so then I get the absolute value of negative 10 plus two thirds, which is um, negative 30 over three plus two over three if I get a common denominator. And so then I get negative 28 over three and the absolute value of a negative is a positive. So we get positive 28 over three. Now you could have typed everything inside here in the calculator, and I should end up with 28 over three if I did that correct, right? So negative 10 plus two times one over three, we get negative 28 over three, and then the absolute value of that is positive 28 over three.